This is Rummy's Corner. Rummy's Corner. Saturday night, HBO pay-per-view brought us the light heavyweight championship rematch between challenger Sergey Kovalev and unified WBA, IBF, WBO light heavyweight champion of the world, Andre Ward. Tensions between these two have been high since the controversial ending of their first fight, where Ward won a unanimous decision, and both men seemed fired up to make a statement in the rematch. In round one, Kovalev gave Ward a different look, and he showed right away that he was looking to invest more in body shots this time around. Ward landed a nice left hook, and he landed some really sneaky body shots of his own on the inside, and a nice right hand for good measure. It was a close and competitive round that could have gone either way. Round two saw Kovalev starting to jab well. He landed a couple of nice jabs and a couple of really good counter right hands. He was applying good pressure, although Ward was once again proving to be a slippery target. Ward was warned for what was ruled an accidental low blow, and on the whole, this wound up being a very good round for the challenger. Round 3 started competitively, but Kovalev started finding himself fighting at Ward's rhythm. He was jabbing, and he was applying pressure, but a lot of it was ineffective. The two had some spirited exchanges in what was once again becoming a close and competitive round. But this was a more grueling round, and both guys were landing some mean shots inside, but Kovalev was throwing more and landing more, and he punctuated the round with a really good shot. Round 4 saw both guys landing some good shots early. Ward started working the body a little better, and he landed a nice right hand and a few other crisp shots along the way. It was yet another competitive round, but Ward was clearly landing the sharper shots in the fourth, and this was by far his best round to this point. In between rounds four and five, Sergei Kovalev was breathing heavily. The fifth round saw a lot of scrappy inside fighting. Kovalev was having some trouble pulling the trigger on his jab. Kovalev was looking very tired, but he was still trying. Ward was dictating the pace and the rhythm, and he was landing body shots and making Sergey miss. Ward's body attacks were effective, and he was continuing to land the crisper punches. But Kovalev landed some nice ones as well. Round 6, another close and competitive round. There were some good exchanges, and both guys seemed determined to win. Kovalev was throwing his jab with more authority in this round, and he seemed to have a second wind of sorts. Ward was still throwing some nice left hands. It was a good competitive round that Ward punctuated with two nice shots. Ward landed a right to open the seventh, and he seemed to have more bounce in his step. There was more grueling infighting from both combatants. Kovalev ultimately leaned over from a body shot towards the end of the round, but referee Tony Weeks ruled it was a clean blow. It was another close round, but Sergei's punches seemed to lack their usual snap. The eighth round started with some good action. There were some solid left hooks from Andre Ward, and he was landing some nice body shots as well. Ward then landed a big right hand that wobbled Kovalev. Kovalev looked like he was exhausted and ready to go, and Ward started wailing away upstairs and downstairs, and somehow, throughout this vicious assault, Kovalev somehow managed to stay on his feet. But the vicious onslaught eventually caused Kovalev to slump over, and Tony Weeks called a halt to the action. Andre Ward was the winner by 8th round technical knockout, and he successfully defended his light heavyweight championship titles. It was a career-defining victory for Andre Ward, who undoubtedly proved his worth in dramatic fashion, 
solidifying his claim as the pound for pound number one fighter in the world, and also once again proving himself as one of the greatest body punchers in boxing today. I applaud both Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalev. It's rare to see two elite talents square off in their primes, and these two warriors did it not once, but twice, and they provided a great fight both times. I, for one, can't wait to see where they each go from here. Have a good night, everyone.